Hi friend, welcome back. Hope you are doing well. I'm here in my home in Kansas City and kind of adjusting to the start of summertime. Today we are going to be looking at a new tripod from Small Rig. This is the Free Blazer Heavy Duty Carbon Fiber Tripod. Small Rig sent this over to me in exchange for a review. And while I have said no to 90% of the products that people have wanted to send me on this channel, this one really intrigued me and so I said yes. This is an item that I have personally searched for several times over the last two years, and that is a budget version of a tripod with the Flotec style of legs. Basically something that is one stage, meaning there is just one latch that fully extends the tripod legs, making adjustments so much easier compared to typical two or three stage tripods. I currently own a few tripods and the two or three stage system is something that I regularly find annoying. I was recently filming a music video that I'll hopefully break down on the channel really soon and it was mostly filmed using a tripod and while filming I had to regularly ask for help several times to adjust the legs as some of the latches are very low to the ground and once a camera is on the top making fine-tuned adjustments to get kind of a level shot I was finding quite difficult. All that said, I feel like this product came in at the perfect time, and I'm excited to share my thoughts with you today. Please note that Small Rig only gave me three weeks to make this video, and while I have done a bit of testing, this is more of a first impressions than a long-term review or durability test. Just so you guys know a little bit of my history with tripods, the first one I owned was a small travel tripod from Newer. It's about $60. I think it's discontinued on Amazon, but I think it's sold elsewhere now. This is a very basic tripod with kind of screw style legs. The other two tripods I own, one is from Viltrox, the other is from Mactrim. I will put the links below because I don't think these exact models are sold anymore, but the long story short is that these are about $150 tripods that you know are a little more heavy duty than the ones from newer and are what I've been primarily using on interviews for the last few years if you guys have seen any of the behind the scenes footage on my channel. Another tripod that I do not own, but I do have experience with, is the Flotec 100 legs from Vinton. This is very similar to the tripods from Satchler, and these were amazing to rent. I used them on a music video a few years back, and later in this video, I'm gonna be kind of diving into my experience with those and talking about which tripod might serve you best. So now that you guys have a little bit of context, we're gonna move into the review of this tripod. It's not gonna be highly technical, so please drop any questions down below. I'm basically gonna talk through what I like. I'm gonna talk through some features that I don't particularly need, but you guys might find interesting. And then I'm also gonna to touch on the things that I don't like and make some recommendations for small rig um, in hopes that they would continue to innovate in this way. So starting off with things that I like, the first is just the height adjustment on the legs. I think that's the primary selling point of this tripod, but in short, there's just one latch per leg that adjusts both height sections, so the lower section as well as the middle section. You just undo the latch and you can freely bring the tripod up or down without worrying about which stage you are adjusting. The next thing that I like is the pan tension control. This is something that is not on the other tripods that I own, but you can tighten or loosen the amount of tension um, for the pan feature of the tripod. The last thing that I really love about this tripod is the weight. I believe it is 13 pounds, which for some that might be heavy, for some that might be light. I think for a tripod that you're gonna primarily be using in town, that means you're not flying with it or traveling with it or carrying it with a backpack, I think 13 pounds is incredibly reasonable and the carbon fiber legs really help cut down on the weight of the tripod. Next up, we're gonna talk about some features that didn't necessarily make my pros list because I didn't see a huge um, use case for them for me personally, but I did wanna share them in case that you would find them helpful. And so the first one is the height range. It's adjustable 37 inches to 77 inches. Compared to my other tripods, this one does get significantly taller. Again, I don't have a particular use for a tripod that goes that high, but I did wanna share that because that is a unique feature. Um, the next is the center spreader being adjustable. On my other tripods, the center spreader is fixed. And on the small rig, you can actually adjust whether it's set to narrow or wide or anywhere in between. Um, this does just give you a little bit more versatility on the height of your tripod and how wide the legs actually spread. This tripod also has removable feet that can be quickly taken on or off, revealing the spike, or you can use them with just the standard rubber feet. 
the handle on this tripod is adjustable. You can actually adjust the length and it kind of collapses into itself or extends. And it does accept both Manfrotto or DJI plates. So if you shoot with a gimbal, this might be really helpful to you. Before I talk about the things that I don't like, I did really quickly just want to touch on price. Small Rig currently sells this for $360, which might be cheap or expensive to you. I think it comes off as expensive if you are a beginner or you're someone like me who was originally buying those $150 tripods. Bumping the price up to $360 for a somewhat similar tripod does seem a little expensive, but when you're comparing it to other tripods on the market, something from Satchler or Vinton with the Flotec legs, those tripods are really starting at like $2,000, but you know can really go up from there. So it really depends on just where you're at, if that price um, is attractive to you or not. So now getting into some things that I don't like. The first thing is on the leg adjustment, the locking adjustments actually move down with the legs. So unlike the Flotec legs where the adjustments can all be made at the top of the tripod, the legs do kind of slide down. And so on this tripod, you might have one leg where the bottom stage is letting out and on another leg, the top stage is letting out. So those height adjustments kind of get messed up as you're setting up the tripod. Again, I would have loved to see a tripod where all those adjustments can be made at the top, but I'm unsure if that is patented or why there are very few tripods on the market that do have that feature. The next thing that I wish was just a little bit better was the head. Um, I think for $360, if Small Rig would have included a tilt tension control, I think that would make this tripod a lot more attractive at this price point. It does have the pan tension control, but I think they're just kind of relying on people using the counterbalance of the plate to really get their camera balanced well on this tripod. The next thing is a very small thing, and I've had this issue on my $150 tripods as well as this one from Small Rig, and that is the feet just sometimes get stuck and do not lay flat on the ground. Several times I'll be setting up this tripod and about to press record, and then I notice one of the feet is kind of sideways or not fully flat, and the tripod is not the most stable. This seems to be because of this quick release feature, and I wish these were just a little bit looser or designed where they more easily just land flat on the ground and I don't have to kind of move the tripod base to get the legs to sit flat. The last thing that wasn't my favorite was just the minimum height on this tripod. I do think it is a little tall compared to some of the other tripods that I have. I would love the ability to get the tripod to go lower. Um, some more expensive tripods have a detachable spreader so that you can adjust those legs to go a lot lower. Time will tell if this does continue to bug me as I shoot with this tripod. I would love to have just one tripod that can do it all and that might be why the more expensive options are priced where they are. So the next part of this review, I wanted to talk about why the Flotec legs are more expensive. So we're gonna transition away from looking at the small rig tripod and kind of look towards other things on the market. And I think the primary thing that you're paying for after using these different tripods is that you're paying for convenience and you're paying for all the little things that these companies think of. And so the Flotec legs are incredibly convenient and they have thought of all the little things. By far the most convenient feature is how quickly the legs can be adjusted and that those adjustments can all be made at the top of the tripod. But it doesn't stop there. The detachable spreader can allow this tripod to go incredibly low and there's even little magnets between the legs that when you're not using it and carrying it, they kind of snap together so that it's really easy to carry. This one from Vinton also has a carrying handle, which I found super helpful when transporting this to and from set. And I think when you are looking at some of the options from Satchler, you know, around the $2,000 mark, I do think those video heads that you are getting are much better quality compared to some of these prosumer tripods. Again, they would give you pan and tilt tension control adjustment as well as supporting um, a little bit heavier payloads just with confidence. And so I think, yeah, you're kind of really paying for that build quality um, in these more expensive tripods. They're for people who are working, you know, video professionals that have no plans on slowing down anytime soon. And so I can't speak to the small rig here, but I have seen other reviews on YouTube of the Flowtech legs just holding up incredibly well over time, you know, getting thrashed around, thrown in their car, really beaten up. They really have stood the test of time. And so making an investment in an expensive pair of legs really does seem to hold its value. And now I want to talk about 
why someone should just buy a really cheap tripod. So the $60 one that I bought from Newer, um, I would say that those tripods are great for content creators, someone who is not needing to make a lot of adjustments between shots. So if you're just filming yourself in your room or you're filming um, kind of simple videos where you're not adjusting the camera too much, I think those tripods are great. Especially if you're traveling, tripods of that size, you know, you can strap to your backpack and easily take on a plane. I think tripods of that size really lend towards just a mirrorless camera, no rig, something that's lightweight. I think they're really great for home offices, bedrooms, or just more compact spaces. And they are priced at that price point for a reason. You're getting kind of the bare bones tripod that is not the most convenient, but it's gonna do the job of holding your camera. And I think for a lot of people, that is great. My buddy John Stambaugh has pretty much exclusively used a tripod similar to this over the years to film his YouTube videos as well as travel with it and it has held up well and one of the larger more $150 tripods that I have just wouldn't really serve his needs because they're a lot bulkier and he's also not doing shoots where he's shooting on a tripod a ton where he's needing to get you know six or seven different tripod shots um, in a matter of 30 minutes. He more is just setting it up capturing some talking head A-roll and occasionally using it to film some B-roll. Okay, so who is this small rig tripod for? With this being at the top end of more prosumer gear, I think this is for someone who has used typical two-stage tripods like the ones that I talked about, you know, $150 to $200, and you found them frustrating. If you find yourself kind of constantly fiddling over the way the legs are adjusted, I think looking at a tripod like this would make your life a lot easier. And I would also say this tripod is great for someone who just doesn't have the money yet for one of the ones from Satchler or Vinton. If you're wanting to save up your money and maybe invest in a better camera, lenses, I think this tripod at $360 is a great option. Again, I've literally searched for this several times on YouTube over the last two years. I think my search term has been something like budget Satchler or budget Flowtech, trying to find a cheaper alternative. And I think I just assumed that there is a patent and no one else can make a one stage tripod but apparently that is not the case there are some others out there and it is fun to see them start reaching a wider audience i can also make a recommendation for this tripod for anyone who's in a similar stage to me with the content that you're making um, i currently do a lot of interviews and i'm also working on a budget i love reliable gear and i'm just needing to do some basic pan and tilts for b-roll i don't need a super expensive video head. I think a lot of these more prosumer tripods um, are getting really good and giving you something that for the price does a really good job. So I did just want to talk about other options as this is not the only tripod like this out there on the market. When I've searched over the last two years, I really have struggled to find anything when searching YouTube, Amazon, or b &H. I just don't think there's a ton of content about kind of budget flow tech tripod options. Um, but yeah, this tripod is not the first of its kind. However, they do seem to be doing a lot better job of marketing and letting people know that it exists. So doing some searching more recently, I did come across the Manfrotto 645 Fast seems to be a pretty similar design. You're looking at $800 just for the legs and then $1,000 to include the head. There is also the E-Image GA752. I think it's $209 for the legs, $275 with the head, but I did see that it only has a nine pound load capacity compared to 22 pounds on the small rig. So if you have a very lightweight camera and you're not planning on using heavier cameras, that might be a good option. And E-Image also has the EG05A2, and that is priced at $359. And so I don't have any personal experience with those tripods, but I did just wanna share that there are other options out there. I know other people have talked about some older models from Benro, but I am not sure which ones to even recommend because none of their current tripods on their website have kind of the quick leg setup feature. Please let me know down in the comments if you guys know of any other options that are similar and have this sort of quick set leg design. I think people would love to know that down below if there are budget alternatives or used options that they should look at. Um, I'm not here to tell you that this is the only tripod with this feature and that you should buy it. I just think it's a really good option that does seem to be having a bit more reach from a company like Smallery. 
I hope that you found this video helpful. I'm not sure how long it is at this point, but I did want to be thorough. And so my next video is going to be comparing this tripod to some Flowtech legs directly, just to give you guys a better look at the differences and where your money is going between this option and the more expensive legs from Flowtech. And so stay tuned for that video. I think it'll be super helpful for a lot of you guys if you're in my shoes and you're looking at those tripods and you really want them, but you just don't know if you want to spend that type of money yet. And so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.